Welcome everyone to our 33 day consecration to St. Joseph, day 20. By the sign of the cross, deliver us from our enemies, you who are our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Him. Say Yosef Shelebred, Achmina Chelitum, Te Kung Ki Rezonen, Christi Adum Kori, Qui Clarus Meritis Juntus Esinclite, Casto de Revegini. Almo cum tu mi dam gemine coniuge. Admirans dubio tan geris ansius. Aflatu superi flaminis angelus. Conceptum puerum docet. Tu natum dominum stringis ad exteraus. Egypti profugum tu sequeris flagas. Amisum solimis queris et invenis. Mishens gaudia fleitibus, eleitos reliquos mos pia consecrat. Palmam que meritos gloria suscipit, tu viven superis pa fruerist deo. Mira so te beatio. No be sumatrias pace precantibus. Da Joseph meritis ti de rasandere. Utandem liceat nos tibi pepetim. Gratum pro mere canticum. Amen. Let us pray to the Holy Spirit for guidance. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to St. Joseph by Blessed William Joseph Shaminad. O chaste spouse of the most pure and most holy of creatures, how happy you must be for having found such favor and grace before the eternal Father who gave his, before the Son who made you the tutor of his sacred humanity, before the Holy Spirit who entrusted his spouse to you so that you could be like the cherubim who guarded the fruit of life in the Garden of Eden. How happy and blessed are they whom you love and whom you take under your protection. O faithful guardian of the Mother of God, keep those who honor you amid the trials and joys of this life. Lovable tutor of Jesus, help your servants in the dangers and difficulties of their exile. May they feel the effects of your love, obtain for them devotion to your spouse, 
fidelity to your Son, unfailing respect for the Eternal Father, who reigns with the Holy Spirit through endless ages. Amen. Meditation Day 20, Comfort of the Afflicted. Comforting the afflicted, sometimes called comforting the sorrowful, is a spiritual work of mercy because it refers to our need to support each other emotionally and spiritually. God's mercy towards us is not merely given for our own comfort in affliction, but so that we might also display his mercy as we comfort others. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and God of all encouragement, who encourages us in our every affliction, so that we may be able to encourage those who are in any affliction with the encouragement with which ourselves are encouraged by God. From the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 1, verses 3 to 4. For those who are not compassionate by nature, speaking truth into a situation is much easier than showing compassion. However, if we are to model St. Joseph and display the character of God in fullest expression, we also need to extend mercy and give comfort to those around us, especially our families. Comforting the afflicted is part of the job description, as it were, for a husband and father, and even more so for priests and deacons. Life is filled with many sorrows, whether it's financial problems, marital hardships, rebellious children, difficulties in relationships, the death of loved ones or parishioners, or a thousand other woes, we will all experience misery in life. God will give you all the mercy and comfort you need for every affliction you endure. But don't let that comfort end with you. Don't simply hold on to the care you have received. Let it grow you and make you better at caring for those God has given you opportunity to care for. Remember that you don't have to go it alone. No matter the situation, you can look to Saint Joseph to be your consolation. He knows well the hardships of life. He is kind and loving father, and he can intercede for you in times of need. St. Joseph, comfort of the afflicted, pray that we may be merciful to others as God has been merciful to us. Help us to have compassionate hearts to those entrusted to us and to have the humility to receive mercy and compassion in times when we are afflicted. We now pray the litany of St. Joseph. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the heaven, God the Father in heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Renowned offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the mother of God, pray for us. Chaste the guardian of the virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the son of God, pray for us. Diligent protector of Christ, Pray for us. Head of the Holy Family. Pray for us. Joseph, most just. Pray for us. Joseph, most chaste. Pray for us. Joseph, most prudent. Pray for us. 
Joseph most strong. Pray for us. Joseph most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of artisans. Pray for us. Glory of home life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Solace of the wretched. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Herald of demons. Pray for us. Protector of holy church. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. He made him the Lord of his house. And ruler over all his possessions. Let us pray. O oh God, in your ineffable providence, you were pleased to choose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant, we beg you, that we may be worthy to have him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Daily Challenge. Having identified the crosses you and your family currently bear, spend some quiet moments asking Jesus to give you his heart of compassion and mercy that you may come alongside your loved ones to lighten their load. Consecration. Saint Joseph, called to be the father of Jesus and united to the spiritual motherhood of Mary through God's love, you now are also our father. To you we consecrate our life and the mission that God has entrusted to us. We ask you to intercede for us before the Lord, to intercede for the salvation of the Holy Church, to intercede in our prayers, and lifts them up to God. Saint Joseph, chaste, just, prudent, and humble husband of Mary, make your glorious virtues emerge in our spirits and in the world for the glory of God. Make us sweet, docile, tender, and meek with our neighbor, and especially with our family, not from our weakness, but through God's strength. Let him who is all powerful be in us and us in him. Beloved Saint Joseph, you are present, but only the divine spirit remains in you as you recede into the silence of love. Show us how to humble ourselves in that way. Pray that in the presence of the Holy Spirit, we may recognize that without God, we are nothing, and we can do nothing. Pray that God may work in our hearts as in yours. Pray that our pettiness may disappear, and your greatness may appear, recognizing our weakness in the presence of his love. By Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Novena Prayer. Saint Joseph, you are the faithful protector and intercessor of all who love and venerate you. 
you know that we have confidence in you and that after Jesus and Mary, we come to you as an example for holiness, for you are especially close with God. Therefore, we humbly commend ourselves with all who are dear to us and all that belong to us to your intercession. We beg of you by your love for Jesus and Mary not to abandon us during life and to assist us at the hour of our deaths. Glorious Saint Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, pray for us to have a pure, humble, charitable mind and perfect resignation to the divine will. Be our guide, our father, and our model through life that we may die as you did in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Loving Saint Joseph, faithful follower of Jesus Christ, we raise our hearts to you to implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the divine heart of Jesus all the graces necessary for our spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and the special grace we now implore. Guardian of the word incarnate, we feel confident that your prayers and our on our behalf will be graciously heard before the throne of God. Saint Joseph, most just, pray for us. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer for protection. O oh, Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, we place in you all our interests and desires. O oh, Saint Joseph, do assist us by your powerful intercession and obtain for us from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, we may offer our thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, we never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. We dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in our names and kiss his fine head for us and ask him to return the kiss when we draw our dying breaths. Saint Joseph, patron of departed souls, pray for us. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have now concluded our prayer of 33, day consecration to Saint Joseph, day 20. We look forward to praying it with you tomorrow at the same time. God bless you. St. Joseph, pray for us. <laughs>